What's going on guys? My name is Josh and I'm back today with another Shining Veil vale episode recap. Guys, this episode was so good. Uh, before I get started, if you could do me a favor, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now you better watch out. It's time to get this video started. Let's go. You guys, I just finished episode six and it was so good. Um, I would say up until this point, I've really enjoyed the show, but I feel like I haven't been really hooked. Like I'll kind of watch the episodes, I'll enjoy them, where this episode I watched it and I am 100% hooked. Like that, it was a very, the ending was crazy. It definitely ended with a bang. Um, and I'll get into the recap in just a minute. But just as far as this episode, we pretty much see this episode start. It's been a month later. You know, Pat is feeling really good because she wrote the, she finished the book. So she finishes the book. Um, she meets with, we see her meet with Cam. And Cam pretty much tells her the book's no good. She doesn't like the book because Rosemary's not in it. And Pat pretty much has two weeks to try to rewrite the book in order to make this deal happen because if she doesn't, the deal is going to go to someone else and pretty much it's over for Pat. And because Terry quit last episode, you know, everything's on Pat's shoulders. If this book deal does not happen, they're screwed. So then we see later, you know, she's trying to make a deal with Rosemary. She kind of has a nightmare in the church and pretty much Rosemary tells her to take the medication. We then later see, you know, Pat has the neighbor, um, Valerie, contact Rosemary. Rosemary tells Pat, like, she pretty much she wants more. She wants to possess Pat. Um, she tells Pat, you know, they have a deal, but Pat needs to take the medication. We then see, you know, Pat, this is really difficult for her, um, just because she can tell Rosemary's no good and her instincts are to not take the pills and handle it on her own, but she's so desperate that in the end of the, end of the episode, we see kind of Pat give in. She takes the medication. She tells Rosemary, you know, to possess her, to help her write this book. But as a consequence, we then see Rosemary possess the neighbor, Valerie, she possesses Valerie, makes Valerie jump out the window, and she falls onto Terry's fence. And pretty much Terry turns around, and the neighbor, Valerie, is dead on the fence with pretty much one of the fence pokes, um, fence posts, you know, killed her. It was just crazy. That was definitely a crazy end of the episode. And Rosemary, I see, for you to say, up until this point, Rosemary's been pretty harmless. Yes, she's possessed Pat. She slept with Terry, but she hasn't done anything really bad. We know she killed the previous, you know, you know, she killed her daughter and she's definitely dangerous. But this is our first time of really seeing Rosemary dangerous. And yeah, this episode definitely ended with a bang. Not only that, we saw, you know, Jake has been playing this video game and Daisy, he's been playing the video game and Daisy's been a part of it. He just thinks that's part of the video game. At the very end of the episode, Daisy reveals herself. She said, I died here. And then Jake, when he takes off his um, virtual reality goggles, he, he finds Daisy's skull. So yeah, this episode ended crazy. I'm definitely interested to see, you know, what happens next. One, Pat just gave in. She, you know, gave in to Rosemary and let Rosemary possess her. So we have that fallout. What's going to happen there? Then we have this fallout about Valerie died. She pretty much, you know, died on their fence. I want to see the fallout then. But that definitely has to freak Pat out. Um... What's Terry going to think of all this? He's just going to think the rose, the neighbor accidentally hurt, died. Is he going to start believing Pat now and realizing like, whoa, maybe this house is haunted. What about Jake? Jake just found a skull. Is he going to tell the rest of the family? I just feel like there's this episode definitely left me wanting more. I cannot wait till next episode. Um, but let's get into the recap. So the episode opens up with pretty much the uh, time jump. It's a month ahead now. We see Pat is in pretty busy in the zone. She's writing. We see Terry cutting trees. You know, Jake's playing his video game. In the game is a little girl. Um, he thinks that's part of the video game. Meanwhile, we know it's Daisy is part of the video game. Um, we see Gaynor has joined a church choir. And I feel like with Gaynor, up until this point, she really initially joined, you know, Chastity Club to, you know, try to 
seduce the neighbor, but I feel like now she's actually becoming religious and I feel like she's found her purpose in a way. So it seems like Gaynor is actually, yeah, she's enjoying being religious and I feel like she's starting to take this seriously and it's less about, you know, seducing the neighbor. Um, Pat has been really um, distracted since, oh, so P Pat has pretty much been locked away in the attic writing her book. So she's, the family are very surprised when she comes down for breakfast because she's been so absent from the family. Um, they're just not used to seeing her. Uh, we find out Terry's kind of been a mess since quitting his job. He's been cutting trees down. He's growing a beard out. Um, I guess he smells. <laughs> um, and Pat pretty much wants to spend more time with the family. And they call, kind of all agree that they're going to go to watch Gaynor sing in church. Pat and Terry go back to therapy. Pat says she finished the book on her own. After, so the last episode when we saw, you know, Pat found the grocery store neighbor dead on the floor. She saw a ghost. She saw the ghost of him. She pretty much quit med. She went cold turkey. She stopped taking medication. She stopped drinking. And at that time, she also stopped seeing Rosemary. And she pretty much finished the book on her own. And she feels really good about this that, you know, she did it on her own. She wrote the book. And she does. Yeah, she just feels very relieved that it's done. And then we find out that, you know, Terry's been making these wood dolls. And then the therapist pretty much hints like, you know, maybe you're a little bit depressed because, you know, you were the person who was kind of head of the family, but now that's Pat. And he thinks that Terry's possessed, or um, not possessed, depressed. And pretty much he, um, Terry, Terry, and then they talk about Terry being depressed and about potentially, you know, should Terry take medication? And Terry says he wants to work on it on his own. And then we then later see, then flash forward, we see, you know, Pat is meeting with Cam and she makes a really good point where she says, if a man gets depressed, he gets to work through it on his own. But if a woman has an emotion, she gets treated like a mental patient. So just seeing the difference between them, I definitely saw, you know, Pat's point in that. Um, Pat, pretty much, she's very excited about the book. She's talking about the cover of the book. Then Cam kind of pretty much breaks it to her that the book is not good. Um, they don't really like the book. They liked the book up until when Rosemary was in it. But once Rosemary was killed, it's like the whole way the from there on, they did not like the rest of the book. And they suggest that, you know, they suggest that Pat bring Rosemary back. And pretty much they're going to give Pat's spot to another writer if they don't. So pretty much the deal's off if Pat does not rewrite the book. Pat offers, you know, to rewrite the book and give her two weeks to fix it. So Pat is really under pressure because she has to rewrite the book now with under, within two weeks. And she pretty much has to bring Rosemary back in order to do this. Um, so we then see Pat is forced to kind of delete the pages she wrote and she's asking for Rosemary's help, but Rosemary does not appear. Um, we then see Gaynor, we're finally seeing Gaynor sing at church and yeah, one Gay Gaynor has a beautiful voice. She's doing a great job. Um, uh, but then we see, a the, looks like the priest kind of ushers or, um, kind of tells Pat to follow him. She goes into a confession booth where she talks about, you know, she's had creative success with the help of a demon. She's asking, you know, the priest if that's okay. And then all of a sudden when she leaves, or the father's not the father's not there anymore, she opens a curtain and boom, Rosemary's there and Rosemary tells her to take the drugs. Pat jumps awake and she pretty much says fuck. And she says this in the middle of church during Gaynor's, you know, moment. Um, she, we then see her go outside. We actually see the neighbor approach Pat telling her, you know, she needs, they need to fix the fence. And can we then see Terry kind of volunteer and say, I'll fix the fence. And then we find out Gaynor is going to get baptized. Um, we then see Pat is not able to write. She's been trying to write, but she's having a lot of trouble. So she actually goes to her mom to try to get some more drugs. So that way she can contact contact Rosemary if she needs to. Her mom pretty much brings up, you know, that Pat checked her into a mental hospital against her will. She just kind of keeps bringing this up to Pat. Um, and then this kind of sparks Pat to ask her mom, like, you know, you were hearing voices back then. Could that have been a demon? And then her mom says, no, it was, you know, schizophrenia. Um, we then see later Terry is cutting, you know, more wood for the fence. He gets a call from Catherine and then pretty much we find out that, you know, he left Catherine at the winery and we can see he didn't want to do something stupid. 
But then we find out that Terry's old boss, Tom, got fired. So then this makes Terry wonder, like, oh, maybe they'll contact me for my job back. But then Catherine breaks it to him, like, no, they won't, because there is actually a viral video of you quitting going around online saying, suck a, suck a bag of dicks. Um, so, yeah, Terry got turned into a viral video. Um, so, yes, she pretty much breaks it to him. He's not getting his job back. Um, we then see Pat can't get a hold of Rosemary. And then she actually goes downstairs. A neighbor, Valerie, is visiting the house about G Gaynor's baptism. And then she tells Pat that she let the beast in. And then Pat brings her upstairs and to meet Rosemary. And she pretty much asks Valerie if she could summon Rosemary for her. The neighbor says, no way, I'm not summoning a demon. And then Pat pretty much tells her, like, please contact Rosemary. If you do, I won't go to Gaynor's baptism. So, you know, Valerie agrees to contact Rosemary. Rosemary appears. Valerie's one starting to scribble on paper. Rosemary appears. Pat calls her a demon. She confronts Rosemary about sleeping with Terry. And then Pat asks Rosemary for help finishing her book. Um, pretty much in exchange for, you know, Rosemary helping her to finish the book, Rosemary will feel alive on the pages. Rosemary's pretty much like, no, I'm not interested. Um, and then she pretty much tells Pat she wants the possessor. She wants more. And then she tells Pat if, you know, she wants this deal, take the pills. And Valerie is, um, take the pills, Valerie is getting choked. Oh, and then pretty much, um, at this time, Valerie is getting choked by Rosemary on her chain. Pat tells, pretty much tells Rosemary, she's like, listen, I will do it as long as you agree. Once this book is done, you gotta go. And then all of a sudden, um, Valerie falls on the floor. So Valerie falls on the floor before, you know, Pat gets Rosemary to agree to leave after the book is done. And then we see a funny scene with Jake and Terry. Jake goes into the room and Terry's like, come here, come sit on my lap. And it's definitely a reenactment from The Shining. And it was just kind of funny. And we see, you know, it was more ridiculous because we see Jake trying to sit on Terry's lap. And then pretty much the scene is supposed to be kind of serious with, you know, Terry being serious, like The Shining, until Jake pretty much talks about, you know, his video game people, about the little girl, and one of the user's names, I forget what it was, but it was funny. Um, we then see, you know, Terry's depressed. Um, he Pat comes in. He does not think he can go back to work after this viral video. And everything's pretty much on Pat's shoulders now on this book deal. And she pretty much reveals she has two weeks to rewrite it. Otherwise, they're completely screwed. Um, we then see Gaynor is getting baptized. She's getting baptized alone. No one's with her. Um, Terry's building the fence. He gets a call from Catherine and she pretty much tells him Tom, she got Tom's old job and she offers Terry his old job back and he agrees to go back to his work. He's been definitely itching to go back to work. So yeah, he's going to go back to work happier because his old boss is gone. And yeah, Catherine's his new boss, which that's definitely trouble because you can tell, you know, Catherine definitely wants Terry and Terry definitely wants Catherine. Uh, but up until this point, he's been resisting her. Um, we then see Jake is playing his video games. And then pretty much Daisy reveals herself that she used to live here and died here. And then he takes off his um, video game goggles and he finds her skull. So yeah, that was really shocking. He now finds like a dead person's skull on the property. Then we see Pat pretty much, she's writing her book. She finally gives in to Rosemary and she's so desperate that she gives in to Rosemary and she takes the medication. Rosemary possesses her and she starts writing. But as a con, this is the shocker moment of the episode. As a consequence for Rosemary's help, Rosemary possesses Valerie, Valerie, and then she pretty much says to Patricia that this is on you, Patricia, and she makes Valerie jump out of the window, and she pretty much falls on the fence, but one of the you know, the spikes in Terry's fence, Terry turns around, and he finds pretty much Valerie dead on the fence, and she was killed by the post. It was a crazy ending to an episode. I'm definitely hooked. Yeah, that was nuts, that ending. And um, I'm so excited for next episode. I definitely want to see, one, you know, Pat gave in to Rosemary. What's that going to be? What's the fallout going to be for that? Um, is Pat going to be fully possessed now? 
Um, what's going to happen with the fallout from Valerie? Um, is Pat going to be freaked out that, you know, because she asked for Rosemary help, you know, Valerie died? Um, what's Terry going to think about all this? Is he going to believe, finally believe in ghosts now? Believe the demon? Believe that, you know, this house is haunted? Um, is Jake going to reveal that he finds a skull on their property? This episode ended crazy. And yeah, so we're at episode six. So now, really, I think there's only eight episodes in the season. So yeah, we have two episodes left. So I feel like it's really, you know, um, heating up now. And yeah, this episode definitely left me wanting more. And I cannot wait for next episode. But what do you guys think? Did you like this episode as much as I did? Um, have you been enjoying the show? Um, please leave your comments below. And yeah, I would love to talk to you guys about this. Like I said, I'm really enjoying the show. And yeah, please leave your comments below. Thank you for watching.